Are you a construction professional struggling with complex project schedules, tight deadlines, and resource management challenges? Well, managing construction projects can be daunting without the right tools. Introducing you to Asta Power Project. This is a powerful project management software designed specifically for the construction industry. It offers intuitive scheduling, resource allocation, and progress tracking to help you deliver projects on time and within budget. Imagine creating detailed project plans while also visualizing critical paths and adjusting schedules with ease. As a power project, provides the features you need to manage construction projects efficiently and effectively. In this tutorial, we'll explore how Asta Power Project can transform your construction project management. We'll provide an overview of the platform and delve into its key features including scheduling, resource management, progress tracking, and available training resources to get you started. So without further ado, let's start. First things first, head over to their website, which is alecosoft.com. Then you should be able to go find right there the products that they have. They have as a power project right here, so you can just head over and then click on that. So as you have noticed, they offer a free trial. You can just head over and click onto this free trial option. And then in here, you can see this. Just input right here your details such as your name, email, company, job title, phone, country, and how you hear about them. So you can choose YouTube for that case. So in that right here, they will ask you what software you are interested in. In this video, we will tackle the Asta Power Project so you can just head over and click on that. And then after that, click on the this request trial. Now, it should be able to provide you a button to download the trial software. And as you can see, I've already downloaded it right here. You can just click on it and then install it. And this is actually the setup. So in here, you can see the available setup as well as the installed. Since I've already installed it, it actually applies right here into this case. So you can see in here what's already been installed. Now, let's see what it looks like into the app itself. So here is the application. So as you can see right here, you can choose from available templates. It can be a blank template, construction, engineering, housing, MSP, physics, services, and tutorial template. For example, for this case, let's choose their construction template and let's name this particular template right here. For example, let's name this Smith House. You can also choose in here the location for that and then just name it. For, let's put in here Eva Smith. And who is it by? For example, in this case, yourself. And then choose in here the start date as well as the login for the username and password. From in there, click on the this create option. And in this Way, it will also open in here the actual project management into this case. So as you can see, here is what it looks like. We have in here the bar chart view of this Smith house. So since we have started with a template, we already have in here some things already filled up. So we have in here the program, like for example, we have the name, the duration, start to finish of a particular task. So for example, let's put in here foundation. And then you can put in here the duration, like for example, let's put in here 7 days. You can input right here the start time, as well as the end time for that particular task. We also have right here the permanent resources. And in here you can see the cranes, design resources, services, managed engineers, as well as site resources that you have. So when you go to that, you can see in here another line. Path names, bar names, duration, effort, and start date. Now, onto this part, we can see right here our actual calendar. So, we have in here first the April ones. So, you can just head over and then go right here to April. You can right click on that. You can format it according to your liking. 
Like, for example, if you click onto this properties view, it will open up in here in all of this. Now, we also have in here the consumable resources. So, we have consumable, we also have permanent. So, under this, you can add in here consumable resources like bricks. You can click on them and then just head over and then name them. Input their attributes, their measure, availability, resource appearance, miscellaneous, and the likes. So, let's put in here initial availability of around 1000. You can input right here the cost and income for this. For example, let's put in here costs per use. Let's put thousand as well as income per use right here. So let's put in here two thousand, and you can also put in here cost per unit. I'll choose in here ten and income per unit twenty. You can also input right here the expenditure cost center as well as the income cost center. And then in here, you can click on assignment and input right here the modeling type for that, the quantity available, calculation, delay, parameters, completed cost, resource revenue, and also you can start the milestone according to this case. Now, we also have in here the codes as well for this particular consumable resource. Once you're done, you can click on the disclose and it should be able to update that. Now, as you can see, we have in here as well the ribbon. So this ribbon looks like a Microsoft Word, but they have different functions. So we have in here the project, and under that, you can see the baseline manager. You can search for the baseline and what if manager for this case. We also have task ID that you can actually search for and input the path name for the separator. We also have unique task ID for the numbering and renumbering. We also have bar chart defaults that you can actually input for the bar, for the task, for the link, for the annotations as well. Now in here you can see all of the reports and you can see them via HTML, printer, as well as Excel. So you can just input right here what kind of report you want to actually show up. For example, right here, let's choose in here this. And you can find the particular report onto this part into our actual file. Now in here we have the calendar format. And when you click on that, we also have in here the five day work week have five day week for the roi banks and a lot more we also have calendars with no holidays so you can just head over and then click on that and you can see them for this particular cell record dominant work pattern and the likes we also have progress period depending on your liking as well as project report date wbs task pools afc product as well as milestone appearance so this is the milestone appearance that we're talking about earlier so in this, you can actually click onto this network viewer. Then you can create a new user profile depending on this. Now the great thing about As a Power Project is that they also have an EVA reporter as well as quality checks. You can click onto this EVA reporter and then you can see in here what it will look like. You can just click on next in order to actually show up the quantity to report on. It can be duration, cost, resource effort or OPC. For this one, I'll choose cost and click on next. Then choose in here, categorize the reports for the gold library and click on next. Then choose in here as well, the cost centers. I'll choose in here for the all cost centers. Click on next. And then choose in here the baseline. And then also the current view for that. Then from in there, just run the report and you can see in there the finished logs. So in there, we also have in here the quality checks. So you can click on this quality check. You can see in here the name for that, the program for the scope, last run, as well as weight total. So you can see in here if your actual project is still up to quality using this particular tool of as a project. So as you have noticed, as a project is a comprehensive solution for construction professionals. So if you're ready to transform your construction management, just visit right here their website and start your 14-day free trial. So you can see how as a power project can meet your specific needs. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with others in the construction community.
If you have any questions, comment them down below as well and we will try our best to answer. Thank you so much for watching.